What's up everyone, Nathan coming at you with some more random battles. Like I said in my last video, I'm just kind of grinding some of these out while I work on some other stuff right now. So it's fun to put out one or two of these a day, like record them I mean. So that's what we're up to today. We are going to lead off immediately with Moltres versus my Iron Moth. In terms of swap into them too much, it's very comfortable. Uh, I'd love to encore them into a uh, nasty plot with Sableye, but they're gonna be immune to that. Raichu isn't great either. Your Spadef is crazy, so I don't love the Iron Moth matchup. I could U-turn into Bear Scuda and have a good chance to kill with uh, Terra Water Liquidation, but I don't have that. I think I'm just going to U-turn into Raichu. 13% isn't nothing, honestly, and just hope that it can survive whatever hit this is. The Nasty Plot, which is my bigger fear for sure. Um, I just Thunderbolt here. It might not kill, but I've got someone faster that can come in after with the fact and go for Flip Turn. Don't have it. Rough. They go for that. Nice play. Their Berserk is going to be really scary now. This will kill. Um, but makes my job with the Revenge Kill a little bit easier. They could swap out. That's a good choice, honestly. It, it depends on who they have. Like, I think the uh, Close Combat's pretty obvious right now. If you have a Ghost of I, why not? Like, yes, this Moltres probably won't be able to do too much going forward, but that kind of suggests to me they don't have a Ghost type because it's a pretty obvious play. Or maybe they're just confident that they could live a Liquidation there, which also is kind of reasonable. Uh, like this team we've got so far, um, I don't remember all of them off the rip, but it's just like versatility is what you're looking for. It's easy to look at the team and be like, wow, I've got six shooters. These are like six OU Pokemon that are absolutely gonna go crazy on the opponent. But I care more about like versatility, um, which Iron Treads and Sableye for sure offer. Uh, Iron Treads is pretty great here. He will be hustle and do some damage, but this is a pretty dream matchup. I like can Iron Spin on whatever spikes they're about to go for. We're not taking too much from a freeze dry. Gengar's the play instead, and again, kind of a dream matchup, honestly, because I can just um, tank anything and get a kill here. To go for Focus Blast, and it somehow hits. Yes, it's going to do. I was going to say nothing, but that was not nothing. Still, good trade. Um, Disable might send Delibird if they think I'm Choice Banded or something. Um, they send in Pikachu, fair enough. Threatening a Surf. Um... Go to Sableye on, because that won't do too much. Or it will. Um, then I'll recover here. I think you, you might Volt Tackle me right now, to be honest. You might Volt Tackle me. Which case? Volt Tackle is kind of scary. Let's go for the Will-O-Wisp. I am uh, unhappy with that. Uh, anyways, we can go to you now. That we've seen so far, no swapping for Liquidation. If there's an easy swap in for Liquidation, they probably would have swapped their Moltres into that too. That was a decent chance. If a Bramble Gas comes out and I made all these theories on based on that single Moltres play, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> like, if it's a Bramble Gas or it's like a whatever, I'm going to I'm gonna go crazy. I'm going to go Feral. That's great. We get a kill here. Burst is an awesome revenge cleaner for us so far. Uh, Pikachu threatening like a fake out if they come back in. Oh, interesting. Um... I don't know if I've got too much use. We don't know what this last one is, of course. If it's a, you know, an Avalug, I'll feel stupid. But Iron Treads loses to you and loses to you with that Surf. So seems like a fair chance to sack it right here. The Liquidate right there. Um, can Mousehold get a setup here? It's a big question. Um, I think you're almost certainly banded. Breaking my rule and using the... Uh... uh Calculator here, because I want to win. And we are going to start off here and Liquidation not going to kill. It's a ton of damage and Aqua Jet would be a threat down the road. But I think we should do that and then immediately, I'm not even going to set up. I'm just going to go for the immediate population bomb. Again, unless they have a ghost type, it's probably going to get a kill right here, especially with wide lens. 99% um, <laughs> will take it. If it misses, I'm going to be a little upset. And we're in a good spot. You know, Iron Moth is, should be able to pretty easily beat Pikachu, Surfer, no. It does a Terra Water. That is nothing, that's fine. As long as this gets the kill, we're chilling. Yeah, that's easily gonna kill here. We'll skip to end. Uh, I guess inviting in Pikachu, you know, if I'm afraid of a fake out, maybe I swap out to Iron Moth. I guess you can make the argument that going for uh, Tidy Up was a better play, because then I could have swept this Pikachu afterwards, but I, I'm pretty sure they have move that can beat me here um 219 i don't think they have another water tip in the back 
do fake out. I don't think they have another like water resist in the back. It seems unlikely. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, you could be Scarf. I'm not even sure if you can kill if that's the case. If these two trade, Iron Moth can win still. Nice. Okay. So we're going to go with the win there. Good start. I think I had a, frankly, way better team than my opponent. So I'm not going to be upset about it too much. I, I think staying in the Gardevoir was a little bit of a mistake. I would have played that a little bit differently. Um, and yeah, Gengar doing next to nothing is rough. I don't blame them for thinking they could beat the Iron Treads, but I'm going to play it a bit differently if I'm them, but nice team on uh, our part. Can't complain there. Trying to come back from that abysmal live last time. <laughs> a less um, courageous man would have not uploaded it, but I am a man of honor. Annihilate can definitely go off. Um slower and I'm afraid of an immediate attack here. I have no swap it for Mimic use and things. So I'm kind of at a loss right now. I guess I'm afraid of a fairy move. I go to Typhlosion. It eats it easily. I go for a Shadow Ball, which was Specs as a two at KO and we outspeed. I guess that's my play. I can also Sucker Punch in order to break it and then go to Typhlosion and go for Shadow Ball. But I'm just afraid of a Swords Dance, in which case Typhlosion is a play. Do play rough, very nice. We will go for Fire Blast or Eruption would be, you know, the preferred move here, but I'm just too afraid of accuracy and in this case, getting my damage chipped down by a Shadow Sneak this turn. Okay, do they Swords Dance here? I guess they probably Swords Dance. They have Shadow Claw actually, which is surprising, but that's not gonna do enough. If they have a Dark or Normal type, we'll see it right now, because this should kill. Even if it doesn't, the Life Orb will take them over the case. There's that Dark type I was thinking about. Um, Bombardier walls everything pretty nicely. I'm expecting a U-turn, which kind of sucks. They go for Toxic Spikes. Okay, so we made the right play. That's nice. Uh, Choice Band and uh, Knock Off is going to kill anything here for sure. Not my favorite crit, but that's fine. Do we see a kill on Mimikyu? We see Fortress. Oof, that's never a Pokemon you want to come up against. They Volt Switch all look stupid, but I get a pretty much a kill no matter what here otherwise. Never mind. You know, Skirata comes out. I guess I probably stay in here because if a U turn, again, I get a kill. Um, I probably go for a knockoff to a KO, which, you know, I, I don't mind my team right now, but it doesn't have a lot of defensive utility, at least for what my opponent's providing. So, yeah, let's just fire blast. They got a knockoff there. That's fine. And then we can go to. Interesting. Pillow Watchroll can probably get a 2 a KO on Fortress, but then I'm relying on Hurricane Hits. I think, oh, your Life Orb. Well, you can't kill Bombardier, but then you're going to U-turn into Fortress and I'm going to get nothing off. So I'm try really trying to get an advantage state right now. I feel like I'm playing on my back foot. So I guess the play is... I can't talk myself into anything but Pillow Watchroll and trying to hit two Hurricanes. Maybe if they go to Fortress and I miss, I tear a flying and go for the kill, but that's really early just to secure a 53% Pokemon. Damn it, this is why I didn't want to do it. Um, am I getting confused? It actually kills. Okay, that works out. That's great news. Glad I didn't tear a flying for sure if that's the case. Uh, we're faster than Mio Scarado. We don't have to expect you right now. Uh, we're also faster than every. Okay. You could be Scarf. So I, a U turn seems like unbelievably greedy for me right now. Let's go to Stone Journer. Take 39 freaky percent from a Stone Axe that gets up rocks. That sucks. Um, I could go to... I'll be able to find other speeds here right now. No, I won't. Search faster. I guess I go for this. I wish I knew if you were Scarf or not. I really do. Because that changes a ton. Uh, heavy Duty Boots at least. That's nice. And then Stone Edge, whatever. Oh, what's the play? What's the play? What's the play? Go to you and go for Rocks are up, so you're not going to be able to do too much going forward, and you can just go for a Sucker Punch. Kind of like it. Get some chip. If they stay stay in, it tells me that they're probably Scarf. Yeah, that is kind of what I'm reading there. It was Toxic Spike up, but Nihilab's never going to be able to do too much. So we'll go to you. Um... I just sneak super scary. I'll bulk up 
ones. I'm, we're gonna see swap out here for sure. But the question is, do the guts to go straight to mimic you? This is a bit of a 50 50 because it could rage fist on the mimic you. I don't think they stay in because stone axe won't do enough. Or I could close combat on the Mia Scarada. Each play doesn't work on the alternative. Or I could bulk up, kind of split the difference, and then deal with it after. That is the case. Um, I think I'll let them kill, hit me. I could Terra Fight to make my Rage Fist a little bit stronger. I got two really fast Pokemon who can um, Terra Flying to boost their offensive power. So I think this is what I'll go for right now. If they play rough, actually, yeah. So I'm glad I didn't Terra Fighting. That makes more sense. They seem great. Oh, God. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at the kill here. Um, man. Uh, could be banded. I think I gotta go for a Thunder Wave, honestly. I gotta go for Parahax. This thing's gonna just win. That's tough. At this point, at Cleaver at this health, that's if they're Scarf or not, right? I can I can beat it otherwise. Gear Boots. Actually, I could have told that early on, right? By them not taking any damage there. Uh, well, honestly, Hurricane, just go for Parahax, because I don't think I win otherwise. Fuse, please. Nope. No such luck. Uh, okay, I'm gonna Nasty Plot. Again, this is kind of my win con at this point. I could have Rapid Spin earlier, I guess, and tried to go on for Annihilate Sweep, but it's hard to imagine that happening with these two at the top. I'm gonna put a full paralysis here. It's my only way to win. Good start. Question is, do I go for another nasty plot? And just again, I'm, I'm playing for a win then. I don't even know if Surf kills is the other thing. And I want to tear a water because I think I need that to not die to Mios Garada. Although I'm faster now, that helps. Um, at this point, I can kill you. I should outspeed. Yeah, I do outspeed. I outspeed you. I can get a kill on you, which I guess I'm calking. <laughs> this is such a close game. Versus uh, my Tatsugiri. Yeah. I guess we surf. I'm just, I wonder if I should have gone for another full para there. Just gone for the RNG. We outspeed you, but you might force my hand on a Draco Meteor. What if I tear a water? against I think this will kill air water is 35 to 41 not quite so I'm forced to go for the Draco Meteor after special attack that's a good matchup for sure I'll nasty plot here a hurricane crit yikes hopefully Terra water can do it it should, it should. If they terrestrialize, okay, I think we might have brought it back. <laughs> Unless you surprise me with something right here. What a comeback. That was insane. Tatsugiri coming back from one, two, three, four lead, four, one lead. So, okay, kind of regaining some juju from uh, last time here. Salamence is lead against Bombardier. Don't love this matchup initially. Uh, we do have a Sylveon. You know, if they Brave Bird, it'll look pretty stupid. We just saw that ours was banded, of course. Wow, what a team. Really offensive. But we also have a Gastrodon with Stealth Rocks and Clear Smog and Volcarona. So we have, like, an Assault Fest Garchomp is interesting. We have legitimately so many sweeping options here. I'm going to go to Sylveon. I'll look stupid if they do anything, but... Oh, okay, I do look a little bit stupid. Garchomp it is. As Iron Shred comes in, inadvertent great play for us. Uh, I wonder if Fire Blast does more. That's a really interesting question. I'm going to EQ, though. Keep it simple. Fire Blast should have been the play. Um, you could have Hypnosis for sure. Hmm, what is the correct move right now? Volcarona or a Fire Blast and stay the course? I'm gonna Fire Blast, I bet it's a... Man, I am just getting really bad luck with accuracy today. That would in 64 the first time. Oh, I'm just hoping that they Hypnosis me, is what I cut myself off with. Wigglytuff comes in. Uh... I've got a Sylveon who defeats you 1v1. Uh, I'll wish past to my Garchomp here. I'll do Gastrodon if that's the case. I don't know, what is the right play here? 
I guess I want Stealth Rocks up. EQ is 41. Um, that means I can go for Stealth Rocks. Bombardier is the play. I don't think you can Oko me. I think we're going to see a knockoff. There's no way you click Stone Edge here. Raybird's a possibility for sure. Okay, I'd rather stack the Sylveon, uh, this Gastron than Sylveon, so that's fine. I actually don't have a swap in. Um, so I guess you gotta die, that's a bummer. I can go to Sneasler afterwards and go for a close combat with all the screens gone, which might have a chance to just, we've only seen four Pokemon so far, but that might just have a chance to just do it. So, sure, bit of a bummer. We get some chip on them too with the Brave Bird at least. Uh, yeah, Sneasler comes in. As long as you're not Scarf, we get a kill. Unburdened, activated. Uh, pretty high attack. It's not, and for randoms, it's not, you know, outrageous. Belly Bolt makes an appearance. You can't kill me, but you might have Thunder Wave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Swords Dance, whatever. Uh... Eh, I'm Kalkin. Breaking my rule. I don't do it much when I'm alone because I don't care if I lose, but I feel like a very fragile ego man after <laughs> going so down so bad last time. Uh, okay, I can do it with close combat. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're not choice banded. Ooh, that's crucial. Uh, wow, we still cannot kill. That is insane. Um, I guess go for the close combat because if Gunk Shot misses, I'm going to feel awful. That kind of sucks. That was a good win con for us, but at least we get a free guard chomp swap right now. I want to keep this guy low because he's annoying. Well, Earthquake. Great, we get the kills. Time to go for a Fire Blast there on the Bronzong. If Bronzong comes in, we can actually just kill it to kill with Fire Blast if that previous calc was correct. Assuming we hit, of course. Really tough comes in, takes some Demoglio. Um, I think I like Volcarona here. I don't know if you're carrying Stealth Rocks. I'm sorry, uh, Thunder Wave. Bulk Runner comes in, I get a Quiver Dance off, and I can beat all three 1v1. Assuming you don't have Thunder Wave right now. You can go for Light Screen then. Greedent. Interesting. You can tank all my shit, which I don't love about you. Well, Bulk Runner's the Wing Con then. But they didn't go for a Thunder Wave right there. Flex up. Body Slam does a decent amount. I'll go for the Draco Meteor. They have so many screen setters, actually. Swords Dance, jeez. Cheek Pouch. Uh, earthquake here, 15%. <laughs> Randoms is so weird. The fact that Greedon just easily <laughs> older brothers Salamence like that. Sylveon's actually a great mana I was trying to keep healthy, but realistically, it's not doing too much against any of these mons, right? Good versus Wigglytuff, but eh. I don't want to send out Salamence right now because we just saw what happened to Guard Chomps. This is really the only play. Um. I'll protect a turn, get more health, and um, the Swords Dance would have felt silly, but just get one turn off this Reflect here in case Sylveon can't 1v1 it. 40%, great. EQ doesn't do a ton. We'll go for this one, get the kill. Okay, so now I'd be surprised if we can't get a win with Volcarona. I guess my threat is Iron Treads right now, going for a win. Um, I'm just going to do this. I don't think you can Oko... Salamence. Um, I'm just worried if the iron hit me twice and I lose. Should I just go to Volcarona and now get it over with? I guess I can always do that after the fact too. We have Morning Suns. So we definitely beat Wigglytuff. As long as we kill this guy, we win. So sure, we'll go for Earthquake. As long as you don't Iron Head flinch me, I think we have the win wrapped up. Should live the next one. Um, well, we definitely have the wind wrapped up if not for that turn 27 there. Uh, okay. I can't think of a reason to tear a water just because they got a fire dance. I don't think there's any point in quiver dancing right now. Only reason to tear water is if they go for an iron head for some reason trying to flinch me down. Earthquake, I'm neutral to. It shouldn't kill. It's also like a Stone Edge or something. Does 50. Scary, but we can recover. We should 
I don't see any world where we can't beat these two 1v1. We Oko you. Wiggly Tough comes out. For the morning suns, they don't hit me with some crit BS. I'm way too afraid right now of still losing, but that was the that was the win. Turn 27, can't hurt you anymore. We kill Bronzong. We boost our attack a little bit more. Let's just let's just set up a little bit more. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay, so we get another win there. We're 20 minutes in the recording. I'll do one more game. Um just trying to keep these short and sweet, you know? I got places to be, gang. Uh I do not like this matchup 1v1. So we are going to be swapping out to holy cow, we have some shooters. This is what I was talking about though, where it's like offensively, this team is unbelievable. But defensively, I'm kind of like, oh, where's like where's my bread buttered? Like how do I where do I swap into right now? Could be Magirna. Magirna will eat it up. I could go to Salamence because I don't think you're looking at a dragon move right now. I don't even know if you have a dragon move, honestly. I rarely see them on Giratina's at worst a dragon pulse, which I'm not even sure if it kills. But then I actually can't do too much in return. So that's that, that's kind of a lost cause. Rhydon makes more sense. I can even sub up. Let's do that. If they Dragon Meteor for some reason, I'm going to feel so stupid. That really sucks. <laughs> we'll go for the Astral Barrage here. Was not expecting that one. I've played a lot of randoms. I've not seen a Dragon Tongue Giratina, but it's going to move full of like probably 12 moves that I can go between. I shouldn't expect to know everything. Popping a dragon type in on a Giratina, I guess not the best play, but I thought we'd see a Shadow Ball there. I thought like for sure we'd see a ghost type move, like a hex or a parallel, like some I very surprising. Calyrex. Uh I don't know. I guess I could die to a shadow move if they have it right now, four times a week. Maybe a Terra Ghost right now. Yeah. It's a lot to do early. Yeah, that would have killed. Get the kill. That's nice. Great speed. Now plus one special attack. Because again, for the millionth time, not as good as it would be in a regular standardized format at level 65. But it's still good. Uh, you can't kill me with Shadow Sneak, can you? Ooh. What a play. They still can't get the kill, though. That's nice. I'm going to Pollen Puff and hopefully get a lot back. Will be enough to kill. I doubt it will be enough to... Oh, Life Orb activates first. Rough. Uh, okay, that's fine. We guarantee a kill. That's always what I'm looking for is just can we guarantee a kill? Um, I've already revealed you, so why not? Maybe should have gone to Goth to tell Electric? No. Um, we'll go for the Drift here. I don't love the start because we burned Terrestrialization. We burned our great Pokemon and Maridon's low. So pretty rough start, of course, but thanks to that really unfortunate Dragon Tail. But I think we're making the best of a bad situation, at least. Really? 39%. That is surprising. Um, can I get a kill with, I don't even know if that's only 39. Good Lord. I've got no business losing with this team, but this team is doing very disappointingly. I guess right on level 67, that's pretty low. It's 20 levels less than Muck. I guess I gotta keep that in mind. It's easy to look at, at them right on me like, oh my God, it's gonna go in, but that's pretty crazy low. Aqua Stuff gives us some a little boost here. Is it worth bulking up? Well, not really, because we don't have it. We also have a Rapid Spin. Gonna wanna keep this guy healthy. But essentially Dragon Dance going up just for revenge killing. We'd love to see that. This will send in grass types, I feel, are really common in randoms. I'd be surprised if they don't have at least one grass type. At least one grass type who we can go into after the fact. Because you have so many dragons. Oh wait. First ring comes in. Um you can't Oko me. And I can definitely close combat you. I'm gonna go for one extra greedy boost here. Next one will yeah, close combat will definitely kill as long as you don't kill me here. Don't paralyze paral paralyze paralyze me. We get the kill, very nice. Now we are super threatening. 360, 470 on speed and attack here. Quackable might be just the secret sweeper we didn't know about the whole time here. Grump pig comes out. Go for the aqua duck, aqua step here. Don't need to overthink it too much. Doesn't kill. Man, that's a tanky mon. That's fine. You did your job. Is Soul Heart worth it? I can just take the kill. Yes, I'm putting myself in an awkward spot because I'm going to be locked into Shadow Ball afterwards, but I think I just take the kill in front of me. Maybe 
you, you, I think you might be Scarf, actually. I think the correct play was go to Magirna, go for a spike, and then figure it out along the way, because I'm just not threatened by Grumpig at all right now. It can be okay with, you know, we just saw its bulk, obviously, and it's Scarfed and does decent damage thanks to its ridiculously high level. That's what I'm talking about when we need, like, a tier list. I think probably Grumpig ranks above Maridon. <laughs> oh, I misclicked. I'm so bad. I think I'm hot committed now. Okay, likely the second one is a higher roll. I'm locked into a better move at least. That might have been optimal, honestly. Optimal misclick. That's what we're about here. Uh, okay. So. Psychic will do like 50%. I think I'm okay to stay in. I'm just wondering if it's good for Magirna. Because Magirna is as good as a matchup as you'd hope for a Shell Smash Dreadnought. Uh, as long as they're not Terra Water. Because you have a resist to uh, Crunch and Stone Edge. And you get good bulk, so you hopefully don't die to just a single liquidation. But they're Terra Water, it probably does kill. In which case, our Wind Con is going to Salamence. And then hoping a Stone Edge misses. And going for an Earthquake. But I still think... I think my correct play is I Psychic once... They take 50%. Hopefully it's enough to force them to kill me instead of going for a second shell smash. That's the that's the prayer. But even the new Lotus is spit out. So yeah, that, that's fine. I second once. I force them to kill me after one shell smash. And then hopefully Magirna can clean up from there. 43 is it. But we get a spit F drop. Oh, which activates the white herb. That's actually crazy. Uh, probably doesn't matter too much. But uh, yeah, another forced attack. Because if they go for another shell smash, they die without Lord's Spideff. I'd be okay if they went for another Shell Smash for sure. And yeah, as long as they're not Terra Water, we should be fine. Asian. Oh my god, what? What just happened? That was shameful. That was the most shameful shit I've ever seen in my life. They still got their Terra. Oh no, no they don't, no they don't. I'm, I'm full, so full of shit. Muck Terra Darked a million years ago. People are screaming at me in the comments. I'm feeling like the psychic energy, like, like after the Death Star blew up, I'm feeling the psychic energy of, or no, after the, after, what was it? It wasn't Death Star that blew up. It was the, I'm losing my Star Wars nerd card here. It was Alderaan. Oh no. Yeah, Alderaan. Okay. I, I, I somewhat redeemed my, my nerd card there. Your scarf. Um... I actually read a book on Star Wars. I'm so nerded up. I read the novelization of episode three, which was fire. And what else did I read? I read uh, Star Wars, the one with Kip. That one was pretty good. It wasn't great. I have an aunt who has like the craziest collection of like, uh, I don't wanna be mean to her, like nerd, nerd books ever. And so sometimes she's a librarian. I'm like, what crazy nerd shit do I, what Battlestar Galactica book, what, you know, Dragon Riders of Pern, like old nerdy shit. <laughs> so I used to do that when I was a kid. Is that a Wochien we've got here? Very nice. Tanks the psychic. We'll go for the knockoff. As a U turn. No, <laughs> they have a U turn. <laughs> Devastating for me. Very devastating. We get the knockoff on Rillaboom's Choice Band. U-turn still a threat. We'll protect this time. As they go for knockoff, that's fine by me, man. I beat you when we won in grassy terrain. I've got stab here, bro. No! We lost it. No! Devastating. I'm like, oh, I'm crushed right now. I'll protect, get some more back. How could they have so much U-turn? This is, I'm tempted to terrorist the less. Um, 67, I think Lycanroc can win if we get sent in on it. I think I can beat you. Stone Edge, no guard, life orb, 253 attack. It's gonna be close. No, it's not. Extremely disappointing, Lycanroc, but at least Willowboom dies. Did your job. I'll go to you. <laughs> so upsetting. 
But Amos really good in this format. Really, really good. Quiver Dance, Tinted Lens, all that good shit. Um, I go to Spirit Tune. I don't. I hope you can't two at KO Cricket Tune. I think I go for Wochi in on the water move. Actually, I'm gonna scout the, the gunk shot. Why not? I don't lose anything here. They talk to Spike. Okay, so I think I can get this off. Oh, they missed. Never mind. Haha. Stun spores they over predict. Very nice. Now we protect. Now we're super high percent. I'll knock off here. There goes lefties. I think gunk shot still kills here if it hits. It misses. <laughs> I'll throw a sword in there. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go for. The uh, protect here and get the kill. <laughs> Getting a lot of use out of that one today. Uh, let's go to Venomoth, get rid of this. I think it's also not a bad matchup. I guess you get Hurricane or Air Slash. Yeah, that works. 198, we're a little bit faster. I'll go for the... That speed tier, you're kind of good still, but I actually just don't like your matchup against all my guys. If you have freeze dry, you can beat a lot of my dudes. Um, wish I had that rock, that's for sure. Uh, I think it's gonna be Spirit Tomb. Can't be you, can't be you, can't be you. So yeah, process of elimination. On mind ones, everyone's got you turned. Holy. Lord just comes out. That's not good. Um, really got to be floats all I guess, huh? That sucks. Uh, I could Terrace the and try to beat at 1v1. And I have Rest, whereas they have Wish, so I think I technically win the 1v1. We don't know what their last slot is, so it's it's scary. They could just swap to like an Arcanine after I'm Rested and Terra Steeled. I think I win the 1v1, if I, as long as I'm, as I'm Terra Steel. They got crazy spadef and Dark Pulse is going to do nothing, but I, should, I can honestly just PP stall them with these two. I, like the, the other option is Krikatoon who definitely loses. It's only stab is bug, which is resisted. Bochion, Dark type as well, also loses. The only thing I may be considering is if I go to Float Soul, if they move us right now, it's I only get one hit off. And that's not enough to do it. Float Soul's a good win con to keep in the back too, in case Woke Spirit Tomb can't completely do it. So I think this is my only real shot against Floor just here. Um, our defense is really based. Our base defense is really high. We still got leftovers active. We don't know what they have. Am I do this just to scout whether they have leftovers? They do have left. Wait, yeah, they do have leftovers. Okay. Uh, we're doing eleven percent here. They tear a ground. Oh, yeah. That sucks. Are you serious? Of all the things. All the things, man. Uh, a speed tie here would be awful nice. Never mind. Well, Floatzel, you got to win a 1v1 here. That is so frustrating. I think that's going to be our last game here in a loss, sadly. Bochian did what they could, but there was a there was some heavily bad matchups. This is a 2KO at least. There's a chance Floatzel cleans up. It's barely a two at KO. Very barely. If this doesn't kill, I'll be pretty upset. I'm pretty upset. Man, that's so lame. That is so lame top to bottom. Uh, I'll lead C, try to at least get some back. And it flinches. I'm, we were having such a good time and now I'm all salty. Now I, I can't even put on a happy face. I'm just I'm in, a, I'm in an upset mood. Was it undefeated until that point? Might have been. Probably not. Anyways, I'll get to you guys later. Take it easy.